What's up, guys? It's Bye from the Sabah Cartel. Welcome to another episode of Hero vs. Villains Live. Man, yesterday I wanted to record Hero vs. Villains so bad. But yeah, I was talking all day. I was making some videos. And yeah, my voice really, really hurt a lot. So, you know, obviously I had to get some rest. Uh, as always, guys, a tip for Hero vs. Villains. This works on, uh, on all freaking maps. Yeah, when you're pulling Hero vs. Villains... And the match starts make sure to press start as fast as possible because if you do you're gonna have a chance to play as a hero And here we go Darth Vader. It's gonna get killed by my trooper Bane because trooper Bane is fucking amazing and really powerful and now Palpatine's next of course because Palpatine isn't extremely great There we go Palpatine's down. Let's move on forward to Boba Fett Which I don't really think he's a big deal, but let's take him out. But yeah guys uh, welcome to your versus villains obviously if you guys are new to the series, I'm not extremely great at live commentaries. But of course, I am trying to improve at them, so that's why I'm doing Hero vs. Villains Live. And on top of that, this game is a lot of fun to play live, so... I don't really mind, uh, you know, doing a lot of episodes. Oh, and also, one of the things that really inspires me to do Hero vs. Villains Live, it's because I see, you know, I, I watch a lot of uh, Naruto YouTubers, and they do ranked matches live. And of course, I am a huge fan of Naruto. And, you know, I, I love, love, love the freaking uh, freaking fighting style in the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm games. So, yeah, long story short, I, I like how they have, uh, like, 50 or, you know, sometimes even 90 episodes of, uh, of them playing live. And, yeah, that's that's kind of the goal with a Hero vs. Villains Live. Like, I want to do, like, 100 episodes of Hero vs. Villains Live. That would be so amazing. That would be a lot of fun. I don't know. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, and of course, mainly what it's going to take from me, it's a lot of consistency, but it's alright. I, I like this game. Uh, another thing that it's going to be good for, it's because of course it improves my live commentaries, and sometimes I like making videos live in Star Wars Battlefront. Okay, do we have a dude? Okay, here we go. So here we have a, a shock trooper. Palpatine's gonna come by here. Okay, so I'm gonna run, because... One of the weaknesses that Palpatine has is that he's not extremely good at long-range attacks. Like, the lightning doesn't have a huge, huge uh, range. That's exactly... Come on, dude. Damn it. Alright, so they got Palpatine. And you know what? I think I haven't lost a single Hero vs. Villains match at all. I think so far in the series, I have won all the matches. And yeah, hopefully we'll keep it that way. Like maybe I don't know, maybe we'll go on like a twenty kills, twenty winning streak or something like that. I remember in Black Ops Two. No, it wasn't Black Ops Two. It was Black Ops One. Uh, but yeah, I remember in Call of Duty Black Ops One, it got to a point where I met these guys, and they were like, "Hey, bro, you want to play Demolition with us?" And I was like, "Sure, bro. Like I, I like Demolition. It's one of my favorite game modes, right?" And then yeah. I was like, hey, um, why are we getting so many kills? Like, And then they were like, oh no, we're spawn trapping the enemy. But I was like, the enemy isn't even moving, right? And yeah, later I just came to find out that, yeah, we were just boosting. I, I, we were boosting and I didn't even know about it. So yeah, long story short, I got like a 67 kill streak. And I, one thing that I really actually did in Black Ops 1, this was back in the day where you were able to like disconnect from uh, PlayStation or something. But anyways, yeah, one thing that I remember I did, because, you know, back in the day, I was, like, uh, maybe 14 or 15. I think I was 14. And, yeah, I cared about my KD and all of that stupid stuff. Uh, but, yeah, I actually got a 115 winning streak in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 just because uh, every time I would lose a match, I would actually just sign out of PlayStation Network. And I would only play Team Deathmatch, and usually I would play with, like, a lot of my friends, and we were, like, really good. But, yeah, I I'm not proud of that 115 winning streak just by rage quitting matches. In fact... Uh, that's actually something that uh, a lot of people do in Naruto, in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm games. Uh, mainly when they're about to lose, they just get disconnected. And then you like join a match and then they have like a 99% win ratio. And it's only because they've rage quit it 273 times. So yeah, that's actually pretty funny. And there we go. Oh, wow. I thought I really defeated Darth Vader. Uh, but yeah, guys, actually, I'm not going to lie. I haven't been playing a lot of Battlefront. I mean, I have. I have been playing it every day, but not for like long periods of time because of course I did get Diablo 3 thanks to my boy Carlos. Shout out to him again. He actually plays Battlefront with me. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I've been playing a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, Diablo 3. And by a lot, mainly I mean like what, for the past three days? Uh, but you know, I'm not gonna lie, Diablo 3 is such an amazing game and I really, really love it. So, oh, and look, I get to be Leia. 
So far I got four kills and two deaths, but at the same time I have 2,000 experience. And you know, this is why I think this is still the best game mode to level up on. You know, Fighter Squadron might be good, Supremacy might be good, Walk Russell might be good. But guess what? My friends, you know, that they aren't extremely amazing, they can't get a lot of kills like me. Uh, this is the best game mode that they can uh, use to level up. Why? Because they get a lot of experience and, you know, obviously um, the experience does help out. Like here you get experience just by shooting at the hero. And look at that, just by, you know, people spawning on you, because that, that honor, honor guard spawned on me. So, I don't know, this is the best newbie game mode, I guess. Which, in a way, you know, you shouldn't really feel bad if you play this game mode to level up, because this game is a lot of fun. And it does take some skill, like, if you don't know how to use the hero, you are pretty dead. And I think Volva Fett's around here, like, they ha he has to be. Probably a smart uh, teammate, I mean, a smart enemy guy. Oh, Bader. Sorry, bro. But you're going down. Trooper Bane is just too OP. Yep, like I said, Trooper Bane is just too OP. Uh, Alright, who we have? A Boba Fett left. And of course, he's up here hiding like a little pussy. Alright, it doesn't even matter. We actually took him out. Look at that. I, I had him with three points of health left. I it would have been pretty cool if I would have gotten him. I would have gotten him, you know, an extra 900 XP. Would have gotten him 4K. But hey, at least I'm level 36. And, um,. Yeah, that's actually something that matters. I do have some challenges. I think I am doing them. I think I can complete them in Hero vs. Villains. Let me see what I have. Um, okay. I don't know what's been going on with Battlefront, but for some reason it's not connecting to PlayStation Network sometimes. It's, it's, it's a drag. Alright, objectives, awards. I'm just waiting to see where my challenges are going to come out. Come on, come on, I know. I know, we have a 492 credit thingy. Alright, I have two, uh, 25 explosive kills and charges. Charges are pretty easy, usually the easiest ones. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to join the Sabaya Cartel. And make sure to keep checking out this series. Peace.